Hello my beautiful people, Coach Gabby here, and today I have an awesome knee strengthening routine to help prevent and reduce pain. All right, we're gonna be doing two sets, one where I explain a little bit more, a demonstration, and then the second set where we just go straight through, less talking, more doing, so let's get into it. All right, if you feel like you're comfortable and you know movement pretty well, you wanna skip that this first set where there's more talking and go straight to the doing, go ahead and fast forward to the second set. If not, we are going to start with a hamstring curl. Hamstring curl, super simple. First, I'm gonna um, explain our starting position. Always our starting position when we're standing, we have a slight bend in the knees, our butt is tucked, our rib cage is closed, our shoulders are away from our ears, our chest is up and proud, our neck long and elegant. And you're always breathing, okay? No holding in that breath, all right? So hamstring curl, super simple. Feet a little bit closer together, hip, hip width apart would be about you know six inches in between your feet. I wanted a little bit closer here, but a little space in between your feet. Now you can hold on to your hips and you're just going to bend at the knee and lift like so, all right? And other side, all right? To put in a little bit of um, uh, some arm movement and a little bit of uh, coordination, you can also do with the arms. So arms out and then as you pull them in, you can lift your foot like so. And make sure your foot is flexed in the back. All right, we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds, alternating each side. So you can either hold on to your, to your hips, hold on to a chair if you need some help with balance, or go ahead and add in those arm movements, okay? Flex foot. 30 seconds, and let's go. Remember your posture here. Long neck, chest up, shoulders down, strong core. Breathe, very good. And you can slow it down too. If the, if the pace I'm going at is too fast, you can go ahead and slow it down, all right? The beauty of 30 seconds is that you do what you can in that time, all right? It's not about how fast and how many it's about proper form and listening to your body. Three, two, one. Very good, shake it out, shake it out. Alrighty, our next exercise is calf raises. Now, why are we working out our calves? Well, strong calves support your knees. So it's important for, for knee health as well, strong calves. So we're gonna be doing calf raises. Super simple. You can either hold on to yourself for balance or hold on to a chair or wall, whatever works for you, okay? And we're just simply lifting up the heels and bringing our body all the way up, okay? So lifting up the heels and coming down, all right? If you want, you can also lift your toes and do a little toe raise, so a little rock there. All right, those are two variations for you, okay? So 30 seconds. Start position, and let's go. You can even do maybe like a little plie, a little mini squat, so you can come up and mini squat, or you can come up and toe raise, or you can just simply come up and down, all right? Three different variations, all equally wonderful. If you wanna work your arms here, we can keep them up. Might even help with balance. All right, three, two, one, and done. Very good, shake it out. All righty, for our third exercise, we're taking it down to the floor gently at your own pace, but if you don't wanna do floor work, if you don't feel comfortable going down to the floor, everything we're doing on the floor can be done either standing or sitting down on a chair, okay? So I will explain that as well. So laying down to the floor, we're gonna have our straight leg raises. So sitting on your bottom, knees bent, all right? Starting out, knees bent. Hands back here for support, nice straight back. All right, we're extending one leg, 
and then we're simply lifting it up, all right, like so. As much as you can, if that's only a few inches off the floor, that's fine, you'll work your way up, all right? And we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. If um, sitting down here on the floor is too much, go ahead and stand up. You can stand up and hold onto a chair, and same thing, standing up, or sitting down in a chair, all right? So three different variations, whatever works for you. 30 seconds, let's go. Breathing. And even when you're here, even though our hands are back here supporting us, make sure you're not slouching. Make sure you know you're, you're still long and elegant. Your upper body is engaged. <sighs> Breathing. Very good. Squeezing that leg, using those muscles, moving with intention. All right, three, two, one. Very good. Go ahead, straighten both. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And other side. 30 seconds, let's go. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. It's very easy to hold your breath when you're focusing on something. I know I do that sometimes. So I'm gonna be a broken record and always tell you to breathe, okay? Very good, almost there, push through. Great job. And three, two, one. Very good, straighten those legs, wiggle it out. For our fourth exercise, we are still here on the floor and you can still do this one standing if you want. We're going to lay on our side. We're going to bend the one that is on the floor. So our knees are together, knees are parallel to each other. We're bending the one that's on the floor. You can come on your forearm here for support. And we're just going to do a side leg lift, okay? Actually keeping the foot flexed. All right, just up and down. If you wanna do this standing, same thing. Hold onto your chair, straight legs, and then just lift to the side, all right? So choose your variation. And 30 seconds, let's go. Even here, we have a strong core. We're not splayed out, you know, we're not lazy. Strong upper body, strong core, long, elegant neck. You can still look down at your, at your legs, but no, like, you know, no crunching in here. Still long, elegant neck while you look down. Very good. Squeeze those leg muscles. Three, two, one, hold, hold, and down. Very good. Switching to the other side. Very good. In starting position, bottom leg is bent. There we go, flex foot. 30 seconds, let's go. Smile, we're having fun, we're grateful to move, to be taking care of our bodies, we're grateful for this day. We're breathing. Very good, guys. Almost there. Squeeze those legs, squeeze those muscles. Alrighty, three, two, one, hold, hold, and down. Very good, awesome job. All right, so for the last exercise of this set, don't forget we have set number two, we have knee squeezes. Now this requires a prop, um, anything around your house, you can use uh, two rolled up towels or um, a pillow, something to put in between your, your knees and we're gonna be squeezing it. So, laying on your back, and you can do this on a chair, so just as we're doing it laying down, you can, doing it, you can do it sitting up on a chair. We're going to put the pillow or towels in between our knees, all right, lightly, so there's enough room to squeeze. 
And then that's exactly what we're gonna do. Bringing our knees together, squeezing those inner thighs, holding for one, two, three, and then release. And then squeeze. One, two, three, release. All right? Super simple, but very effective. Works out those inner thighs um, around your knees. Really great for strengthening that area and preventing uh, pain. All right? So we're gonna be doing that for 30 seconds. Remember to try to hold you know, that squeeze for at least two to three seconds if you can. If not, go ahead and do it you know, alternating. But work your way around what you think is best for you. 30 seconds, deep breath, let's go. Very good, squeeze, hold, hold. Feet are flat on the floor. Make sure when you squeeze that the edges of your feet don't come up, all right? We wanna make sure that they're nice and flat on the floor. And when you're squeezing, you're engaging your entire leg. You're feeling your knees, the muscles around your knees, your inner thigh, your, your outer um, bottom as well. You can feel it. All right, three, two, one. Hold, hold, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Very, very good. I love that exercise. It is just so simple, so easy, so effective. I feel my my thighs burning already, so you can also do that on leg day when you want to work out your, your legs. All right, great for the knees, great for the legs. So that was set one. Remember this time right now so that when you come back to this video and you don't need the demo anymore, you can come right to this spot and start on set two, all right? So get ready, take a second, drink some water, and get ready for set two. Okay, my beautiful people, time for set two. Less talking, more doing. You know what to do if you watch the demo, all right? So we're going to just go straight through it. You got this. Get ready for hamstring curl. 30 seconds. Remember starting position. Remember proper posture, all right? And let's go. Very good, almost there. Don't forget to breathe. Very good. Three, two, one, and let it go. Very good. Next we have our calf races, remember, holding on to something or holding on to yourself, whatever works best for you. 30 seconds, let's go. Remember you can do your heel raise, um, your toe raises as well at the end, or a little mini squat, or have your hands up here. So many different variations to choose from. And you can switch it up. You know, one set you do with arms, one set you do with a little squat, or you do both. <laughs> Three, two, one, and release. Shake it out. Very good. Now, straight leg raises, coming down to the floor, or doing it standing, or sitting on a chair. Go ahead and choose your variation. All right, 30 seconds, one side, ready, let's go. Good posture, shoulders away from our ears, tucked in tummy. Flexed foot, our foot is flexed when it's coming up. Good, almost there. Three, two, one, hold, hold, hold. Very good. Other side. Ready? Let's do it. Don't 
forget to breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Good, you got this, almost there, starting to burn, that's a good thing. Three, two, one, hold, 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 and down, very good. Shake out those legs. All right, moving to our side. Remember, you can do this one standing as well. Moving to our side, forearm here. Leg on the floor bent, nice flexed foot, 30 seconds, let's go. Very good, strong core, strong torso, strong leg. Awesome, halfway there, you got this, push through. Very good, feel the burn, I feel the burn, baby, woo! Let's go, three, two, one, very good, shake it out, shake it out, woo! Other side. All right, in position, come on. Let's go, let's go. And begin. Breathing, don't hold that breath. Fill those lungs. So important to deliver oxygen to your muscles always, but especially when we're working out. Very good. You got this. Halfway through. Alrighty, almost there. Three, two, one. Hold. Woo! And shake it out, shake it out. Very, very, very good. Almost there. Last one, we have our knee squeezes, my favorite. Grab your prop, pillow or towels. Lie down gently, flat feet on the floor. Prop in between your knees. And 30 seconds, squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Very good. If you want to hold that squeeze longer than two or three seconds, go for it. Try five seconds. All right, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, hold, hold. Hold that squeeze and let go. Very, very good. That was it, you guys. That was my knee strengthening routine. I hope you liked it. If you're ready for another set, go ahead and do it, all right? Go back to that, po uh, that point I told you to mark, and if not, go check out our channel and all the other amazing videos we have to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know every time we post another video. We don't want you to miss out. See you on the next one.